Sourcelib is a code analysis library that analyzes code in multiple languages and exposes this information in a common language independent format. It's designed to make it easier to create better programming tools that understand the code at a deep level and can support things like jump to definition, finding usage examples, and looking up docs. Sourcelib is 100% open source and you can start hacking on it today. But to get started, check out one of its editor plugins. With the Sourcegraph Sublime Text plugin, you can find usage examples, look up documentation, and search on Sourcegraph, all from directly within your editor. So let's say I'm working on this function called serve HTTP, and I want to learn more about this response writer type. I can just right click on it, select documentation and type, and in the drop down, I'm shown the doc string that describes what this type does. In this case, it's a little bit brief and not super useful. So I'm going to go back and right click again on response writer and select usages and examples. This will open up the panel at the bottom, which shows me snippets of code of, drawn from other open source repositories showing how they use response writer. So I can learn from their example and go from there. I can hit escape to close that. And another type of question I might want to ask about this code is what is the type of specific variable? So consider this URL local variable. It's initialized without an explicit type declaration. So what type is it? I can right click on it, select documentation type, and in the drop down I can see it's of type net slash URL dot URL. What is a net slash URL dot URL? Let's find out. I can type control shift P. That opens up the sublime text command palette. I'll type source graph, and I have two options. I can either search from a selection I've already made on screen, or in this case, I'm going to type my search query. So I'll select search from input. I'll type the name of that type that I just saw, which is net slash URL dot URL. I'll hit enter, and that'll open up the search query on source graph in my last open browser window. I'll click on the result and I can immediately start exploring the code on Sourcegraph. It's that easy. So that's the Sourcegraph Sublime Text plugin. Soon you'll be able to install it directly from package control, but in the meantime, you can just navigate to the GitHub repository at github.com slash sourcegraph slash sourcegraph sublime and follow the easy instructions in the readme. Sourcelib includes a command line tool called source, which allows you to analyze code, output the analysis data, and query that data later on. To see how that works, I've cd'd into the root directory of a Git repository whose code I want to analyze. To analyze the code, all I need to do is type source, do all, that runs the analysis, and that will output the data to a directory called .sourcelib-cache. Now that that's generated, I can query the data using the source api describe command. This command takes in a file name and byte offset that specifies the occurrence of some name in code. So I'm going to give it the byte offset of this occurrence of response writer. So here you see I've passed it the file name and the byte offset and this outputs JSON, so I'll pipe it to a tool that formats the JSON nicely. Pipe that to less. And source describe returns to me JSON that shows where that name is defined in code, along with its type and other useful information. And also shows me usage examples drawn not only from this local repository, but also from other open source repositories on the web. So using sourcelib and source, I can implement editor plugins that support features like jump to definition, finding usage examples, and looking up documentation. Sourcelib is a code analysis library that powers sourcegraph.com, a code search engine that indexes hundreds of thousands of open source libraries on the web. You can search for things by name, and explore code using an easy to use interface that lets you do things like jump to definition, find usage examples, and see who else uses a piece of code and how many people use it. 
To learn more about SourceLib, check out the docs on sourcelib.org. There you can read more about the data model, or just get started building better developer tools.